Okay, I'm not, I, I, I want to make sure that I don't come off as being argumentative, but I do want us, I think that we as a community, especially a black community, need to look at marriage from a different lens and understand that there are very specific aspects of marriage that are, are a relatively new phenomenon. So marriage itself is an institution that traditionally has been based off of class and resources. So social status and resources and the combination and of those things, you know, bring those two things together. And so if you stayed married due to resources, like that is like really historically speaking, that's the purpose of marriage. And so your marriage was not over. Was the love gone? Probably. You know, did you respect the person? Probably not. Did you want to be with them? Definitely not. But fundamentally, was the marriage over? No. Because resources are one of the things that marriage exists to protect. Okay? Now, there was a time when raising your children was a community thing. Like, everybody pitched in to raise a community. You had shared resources in terms of food. It was a community effort. Monogamy is a relatively new phenomenon invented by white men to protect their assets because they didn't want their assets going to bastard children. If you don't believe me, just look up the history of monogamy. So that really wasn't a thing. And so a lot of the things that we put on modern day marriage were meant to be that burden was meant to be spread out across the community. And so if we change how we view marriage, modern day marriage, and understand what it was invented for, I think it would help us understand why the divorce rate is so high. We literally have unrealistic expectations for this institution. It was, it was designed for something that is not what we currently have in modern day. Now, having said that, I still believe that there's a place for it. I think that for the black community in particular, it is the quickest way out of poverty. But because of systematic racism, classism, patriarchy, capitalism, and a whole lot of other shit that's like in this toxic soup, it affects how black men and black women view each other and as a result affects how we enter into marriage. And then once we get into that marriage, it affects our views on what a healthy marriage should look like. And so... I agree, you know, like in my case, the marriage literally ended because he engaged in behavior that I felt like was egregious. In your case, it wasn't, I don't know why, but the fact that you stayed married for resources means literally the marriage was not over because you stayed for the reason that marriage was actually invented for. But anyway, I love this dialogue. So 